Hey guys, it's Jeb here, and in today's video, is Bitcoin about to break bearish and start heading even lower to test levels around $8,500 and fill this zone that is a gap in Bitcoin? We're going to be discussing gaps in this video. I also want to touch on a piece of news as it relates to Brave Browser becoming the most downloaded web browser in Japan. And finally, we also need to talk about Backed because the Backed Futures Warehouse is now active, and as they are saying here on Twitter, they are being covered by a $125 million insurance policy. We're going to talk about this for a second, and we're also going to talk about Bitcoin giveaway scams as we can see right here. But guys, I think we have a lot of value for you lined up in today's video. If you do enjoy today's video, make sure you smash that like button. But without much further ado, guys, let's go ahead and dive right on into it. The first thing we need to do here, guys, is a little bit of short-term technical analysis to try and decide whether or not we're going below our uptrend of support at $9,300 right here. This is our uptrend of support. Is Bitcoin headed below that? Because if it's not going to head below that, we're never going to fill the gap because the gap is below it. Well, guys, I'll be real with you. I'm not feeling the most bullish on Bitcoin right now, especially considering last night, as we can see here, Bitcoin Bitcoin actually fell below this level of support at $10,280 to $10,300 or so and pulled all the way back down to $10,000. Now, this is definitely a fake out. This was not a breakout, but at the same time, guys, the fact that we were below that support for five or six hours is indicative that we most certainly did set a lower low. As we can see right here, Bitcoin had a low back over here on the 6th, and we've had a new low here, and it's not good news. Likewise, guys, Bitcoin had a high and a lower high. Bitcoin is very much in a descending pattern. If we were to draw trend lines, it would look something like this. And excuse the chart clutter, guys, but this most certainly is not a bullish pattern. We saw Bitcoin crash, and a lot of times, even in a bear flag, you will see Bitcoin rally and then crash again. Bitcoin's not even doing that, guys. Bitcoin is in a descending triangle pattern, a descending wedge. Now, one thing I will say is that if you're in the Cryptocurrency Technical Analysis Academy and you've watched our video on wedges and pennants, then you will know what a wedge looks like, and you will know its breakout characteristics. This most certainly looks like a descending wedge, and oftentimes, you will find that with wedges, Bitcoin tends to break in the opposite direction of the direction the market was moving when it went into that. That would mean that this would be calling for a bullish breakout. But guys, just because more often than not, a wedge will break in a certain way does not mean it's going to in this case. And I most certainly don't feel very bullish on this right now. If we look at our indicators, it's not good news either. As you guys know, we have a downtrend on the tops here on the RSI and an uptrend on the tops here on the chart, meaning that we do have classical RSI divergence sitting on the four hourly and on the one hourly. Now, granted, that was a couple days ago, but that is going to carry weight through the next few days because it's on the four hourly chart. This is still an important formation and is probably still contributing to some of our bearish price action. Likewise, Bitcoin is still bearish on the MACD here and has just crossed below the zero level on the histogram. And guys, if we bring out some moving averages here on a clean chart, then what we're going to find is that Bitcoin is hovering right above some key levels of support, namely the 100 simple moving average, that being this one right here, the 50 simple moving average, and the 20 SMA. There's a reason why I have all those levels of support drawn right where they are. As you can see, all these support levels I have in here, those are important because they're not just lining up with previous price action. They're also lining up on top of all these levels of support on the moving averages. But guys, Bitcoin, even though it is testing these as support, it doesn't look very bullish. Bitcoin's been testing them for four days. Normally, if you're going to test a level of support, you would have bounced by now. I'm not feeling great on this. Furthermore, if we look at the daily chart, we can also see that we're starting to converge on ourselves on the MACD. And if we look on the Heikinashi, we have now turned red and have been so for three days. So all in all, guys, I think I've made my point. Bitcoin is not looking very bullish right now. This is most certainly looking like a rejection. I'm not feeling very confident on this at the moment. And I think best case scenario, Bitcoin is more than likely going to head down here to this uptrend of support, look for a bounce, and then continue higher. But the thing I want to talk about in today's video is not what happens if Bitcoin bounces and continues higher. I want to talk about what happens if we get a bad news story at the wrong time, or a whale decides to sell at the wrong time, and we break this uptrend of support. Because this is a very important uptrend of support. If Bitcoin breaks this, we're in for quite a bit more bearish price action. I would be expecting Bitcoin to pull back to around $8,000. But the reason I want to bring that up is because if Bitcoin breaks this uptrend of support right here, then that's going to send Bitcoin pretty low, definitely into our zone down here on into the gap that we have back over here in June. As you guys probably know, in traditional markets anyway, and to be fair, also in Bitcoin markets, normally gaps get filled. And what that means is that if the market comes up here and we have a gap and then the market continues, eventually the market's going to come back down to fill this. As you can see, it'd be filling this gap over here. We've yet to do that. And if Bitcoin were to break down here, Bitcoin would rally all the way to $14,000 and higher, and we'd probably never come back to these price levels. Yes, I know, chart. So people have been arguing about whether or not we're going to pull back and test this for months ever since it really happened, to be honest. And I'll go ahead and give you my position on this because this has been my position for the whole time. Gaps in cryptocurrency don't necessarily need to be filled. Now, in stock markets like on the S&P 500, they are almost always filled. If we bring up the S&P 500, you can see there's a lot more gaps on this because the S&P 500 doesn't trade on a 24-hour cycle like Bitcoin markets do. And to be clear, what we were looking at is called BTC1 exclamation mark. That is the CME futures for Bitcoin. I'm not getting into what CME futures are right now. Just know that this is a chart that is important. But normally, guys, in traditional markets, 
it's like in the S&P 500, gaps will almost always get filled. In fact, there are people that say that gaps literally always get filled. And I would not necessarily agree with that because I'm sure you could go back in time and find one that was not filled. But the argument is still there and enough people still agree with it. It warrants an explanation. Is Bitcoin about to pull back all the way to $8,500 or even lower to fill this gap? Well, I'll give you my take on it and then we'll do the technical analysis on it. First of all, like I said, I don't think that Bitcoin has to fill gaps in the cryptocurrency market. Bitcoin is a much different beast than traditional markets. Traditional markets have a lot more people in them that are following the ideology that you have to fill a gap no matter what. And therefore, they're going to short the market when Bitcoin or excuse me, in that case, the S&P 500 or something on the NASDAQ or some stock like Apple, they're going to short because they believe the market is going to go down and fill that gap or they're going to long believing that the market is going to go up and fill that gap. In cryptocurrency markets, guys, even though you hear a lot of talk about it on YouTube as it relates to CME futures, I don't think filling gaps gaps is a very big point of contention for people in this space. I don't think people take it as seriously as they do in the stock market. So I don't think it's necessarily mandatory that we come down here to $8,500 to fill this. With that said, guys, I think that there's a chance that we're going to fill it just by happenstance if, because if Bitcoin breaks this uptrend of support, we're probably headed down to like $8,000. Let me show you some BPVR levels, for example. We're probably headed down here to right around $8,000 on this level. If we break this uptrend of support, we're probably headed down here and then we're going to fill this gap anyway. So that leaves the question, if we fill this gap right here, and we head all the way down right down here. Did we come down here to fill the gap or did we come down here to test VPVR support? I think it's probably going to be the latter. I think we come down here to test VPVR support and we just so happen to fill the gap. I think that's how that happens most of the time anyway. So guys, a lot of people have been asking me my opinion on gaps over the last month and a half or so, especially during live stream. So I've just gone ahead and explained my position on this. I hope you guys got some good value out of that. We did some short-term TA for today, but I also want to talk about gaps so that we'd have something interesting to cover as well. Tell me in the comment section down below if you have any ideas for future videos like this where we can cover certain topics that have been in the cryptocurrency public consciousness for a little while or anything you guys really just want to hear about other than daily technical analysis during the TA part of the videos. I'd be interested to hear what you guys would like to see in the future. Maybe you want me to cover a certain indicator. Maybe you want me to cover a certain chart pattern or formation. Let me know down below. Anyway, guys, moving right along here, let's go ahead and dive into a pretty cool news article. Brave becomes the most downloaded web browser in Japan. Guys, if you don't know what Brave is, Brave and BAT, this is basic attention token, are two projects that are working together. Brave is actually created by the guy who created Mozilla Firefox. Brave is not just some random project in the cryptocurrency space. It is a real project that a lot of people use. It has a use case. It's gaining adoption and it's been doing very well for itself over the last several years. And also guys, it's in partnership with Basic Attention Token because that's its native currency, which is the number 34 cryptocurrency. And this is what I'm talking about when I say 90 of the top 100 cryptocurrencies are all garbage. BAT does not fall into that. I'd say BAT is definitely a winner and one that if you're trying to invest in altcoins is one that you want to take a look at because Basic Attention Token is connected to Brave fundamentally with the way it works. I'm not getting into it in today's video. Brave kind of redefines what advertising is and allows you to get paid for watching ads. I'm not getting into that. But if you're looking for an altcoin to invest in, BAT is probably a good one. This is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm a teacher of technical analysis. But if you are looking for an altcoin, it's one to definitely take a look at. Largely for reasons that we're going to be discussing in this article, the privacy-focused Brave web browser has become the most downloaded web browser for Android in Japan. According to a recent post released on Reddit, this is the first time that Brave takes the first spot in a large country. Brave become popular among crypto users because of its privacy features. And even though Brave is built with the idea of getting people in the cryptocurrency space in, it's also one of the things that it does so well, in my opinion, it's not only marketing to the cryptocurrency space, it's marketing to the masses. I think that's one problem that a lot of cryptocurrency platforms and technologies and applications suffer with is that they're marketing to the cryptocurrency space. But guys, I'll be honest with you, check these market caps. Most of them are not even to a billion dollars yet. This is still a very small space. So if you have a company that's marketing only to the cryptocurrency space, take it from a cryptocurrency YouTuber, it's going to massively limit your reach. Brave doesn't do that. It does pamper the cryptocurrency users, but it's also very, very useful and has a very competitive use case for people that are not in the cryptocurrency space. This is a big article. I'm really happy to see this. I want to see more stuff like this happening in the future. We're going to leave this at this. If you'd like to pause and read the rest of this article, I'd encourage that. Anyway, let's move on here to Backed because there's two things on this page I want to talk about. First of all, on the official Backed Twitter, this is the official Backed Twitter. Make no mistake with this guy down here. Back said on Twitter here about an hour ago, the Backed warehouse is active for futures. Bitcoin deposited at our warehouse is protected by a $125 million insurance policy. Guys, remember Bact is not just a futures trading house. Bact is physically settled. You're not trading derivatives. You're trading physical Bitcoin, which is one of the reasons why Bact is such a big deal. CME futures that we were looking at a little while ago, this over here, this is a futures chart just the same way Bact is. Bact is going to have a chart just like this when it goes live and it's going to start right over here somewhere on, on September 23rd. Bact is going to have gaps and all that also. But the point is Bact is not a derivative like the CME futures are. Backed is physically settled. That's a huge deal because derivatives don't have the power to really move the market in the way that physically
physically settled contracts do because when you have physically settled contracts, you start implementing supply and demand because there's only so much Bitcoin. And when you do that, you can move the market. Now, whether or not that's going to be a good thing or a bad thing for Bitcoin is yet to be seen. I think it's going to be a very good thing for Bitcoin because backed is a regulated service that a lot of people in traditional markets will be much more comfortable working with than the cryptocurrency exchanges that we work with right now. Guys, this is a big deal. I'm really looking forward to about, what, 14 days from now when backed goes live. That's going to be a big day. Really looking forward to that. Before we wrap the video up, though, I do want to mention one thing, and it has to do with this prick down here, backed, who is not actually backed, uh, John's B01. I have no idea who this is. Um, I cover politics for NJ Advanced Media. I work on NJ.com and in the Star Ledger. Don't care. He has 4,500 followers, but he renamed himself backed, and he has backed as his profile picture. He's trying to look exactly like backed and do this. This is an important milestone for us in our community. We wanted to show you that we care by doing this. And if you click on this, I'm going to click on it. You don't click on this. I'm clicking on this because I'm trying to show you. Look at this. This looks so professional. Backed, an important message to the community by backed. Follow on Twitter. Let's see if this actually goes to the legitimate Twitter account. Well, it's going to make me log in, so I'm not going to do that. We want to commemorate such an achievement by holding something special. A special promotion for BTC and Ethereum users. If you want to participate, it's really simple to do so. Just navigate to these websites to learn more. Don't click these. Guys, please don't click these. The competition will last until all 5,000 Bitcoin and 10,000 Ethereum are airdropped. First of all, guys, you can't airdrop Bitcoin. And second of all, 5,000 Bitcoin times $10,000 per coin, they're really going to be giving away $50 million worth of Bitcoin. Yeah, right. Backed, even though it's a gigantic company, is going to be giving away $50 million, Bitcoin, $50 million worth of Bitcoin. No, they're not. This is a classic scam. It happens on Twitter. It happened in my comment section once, and luckily I caught it and shadow banned the dude. There's a guy who made an email that's pretty similar to mine and was emailing my customers. I still have no idea where he got that information from. He must have gotten it from YouTube because all of my stuff is hidden. And people do it on Twitter all the time with the Ethereum giveaways and whatnot. If you see something like that, look, I think it's already been deleted. I, I didn't reload the page before I started this video because I figured it would be taken down. But that was a scam. Don't fall for them, guys. Seriously, they happen so much in cryptocurrency. I get people messaging me, asking me, Jeb, was this really you talking to me? Because people will impersonate me. I'm a small channel. I get impersonated. It happens to everyone. Be careful. Don't go losing your money to someone stupid. If you're going to lose your money, at least lose your money in a trade and learn something valuable with technical analysis from it. Don't lose it to some jerk who's trying to take your Bitcoin. But guys, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for today's video. Tell me in the comment section down below if you think we are going to need to go down and fill this gap. And tell me in the comment section down below what you'd like to see in future videos. I'm always looking for ideas. I've gotten really good at coming up with ideas for videos, but at the same time, I can always use some help. In case there's something you guys really want to see, let me know down below. Anyway, guys, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for today's video. Like I said, but I do want to go ahead and mention the Cryptocurrency Technical Analysis Academy, because like I said, there is a sale running on it right now. For $159 down below, if you use the coupon code September 2019, you're going to be getting access to currently 34 videos and over 10 hours of content explaining exactly how to do technical analysis on these markets, trade and invest in these markets for a profit. I just want to make sure you guys are aware how difficult it is to learn technical analysis. It's not an easy skill. There's a high skill cap and there's a steep learning curve. If you're going to learn technical analysis, there's going to be two ways you can do it. One, you can take a course and as far as courses are concerned, I think this is the best one on the market. Or you can try and learn it your, yourself through reading a bunch of books, through watching a bunch of YouTube and through doing a bunch of it on your own. And that's a perfectly fine way to do that. If that's what you want to do, more power to you. But I personally believe that the investment of $159 to learn all of it in literally what could take you a day. Hopefully you've watched these videos again and you spread this out over the course of a month or so. But I think it's a much better investment today to spend that money to join an academy and learn all of this from one teacher in one felt swoop so that you're caught up to speed at this time next week rather than spending another year or more trying to learn these markets on your own and still missing a lot of the content that's in here, guys. I've been doing technical analysis on these markets every single day for over two years. This YouTube channel has been active for a year and a half, and I've been doing TA on this channel for over a year and a half. I know what I'm talking about, and these videos prove that. You can ask the people in the comment section down below, and you can ask the people in the Discord server as linked down below if the content in CT2 is actually worth it. I'll tell you it is, but if you want to ask people who are already in the course, who have no affiliation with me, they have no reason to lie. Join the Discord server down below. You'll get their honest testimony also. Go ahead and ask them. Just join in disc in general and say, hey, has anyone taken CT2A? What do you think? I'm considering joining. I'm confident enough in my product that I will let my customers speak for myself. I don't need to be there. So do that and see what they think. I already know what they're going to say because I see them say it all the time. They are confident and they are happy with the product. And guys, by the way, I do also want to mention there's five new videos going out today. One will be going out right after this video goes live. I'm going to be updating one of the videos. I haven't chosen which one yet, but one of these videos is going to be updated 
update and I'll tell you which one it is in tomorrow's video. The video is already updated. I, it's already recorded and edited. I just have to go ahead and throw it up in the course. Anyway, guys, also remember that after this sale is over, the price is going to be going up. So even though it's a $40 off coupon code, it's more like a $90 off coupon code because the price is going to be increasing to $249 a couple weeks from now. Anyway, guys, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for today's video. I do want you guys to understand why I promote CT2A because a lot of people complain about it in the comment section down below. The reason I promote CT2A is twofold. One, I want to help you guys and build a community and CT2A is a great way to do that. But also too, guys, you have to realize this is a business unlike most other YouTube channels. There's a lot of expenses that go into running this business and it's because of CT2A that I'm able to bring you these daily videos. The course is what funds this YouTube channel. So guys, don't think that I'm just shilling. I'm trying to promote a product that I genuinely believe in, that I've worked my butt off to create, that I know people enjoy because it allows me to bring you guys more content and it allows me to do what I've always wanted to do, which is have a YouTube channel and make people's lives better. That's why I promote CT2A. I'm not trying to squeeze money out of you. If I were trying to do that, I would have sold the course for a thousand dollars a copy i would have made more money i would have sold less people but i would have made more money and i could sleep and that'd be that but guys i don't want to do that i want to help as many of you guys as i can while also supporting the channel that's from the heart and you guys who have been here for a long time know that that's true so guys tell me in the comments section down below what you thought of today's video are you in ct2a if you are what do you think of the content as always if you have any criticism shoot me an email leave it in the comments i don't care where I always want to make the course better I always want to make the youtube channel better i'm always for constructive criticism guys but nevertheless that is going to do it for today's video I I do want to thank each and every single last one of you for watching as always. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.